Okay guys, so we're back in the studio and I've been working on making a bunch of little bowls. Behind me, I've got them here. They've been drying for about two days now and they just reached the leather hard stage. So it's time to trim. I just got a new product in the mail and I'm super excited about it. I bet you all know what I'm talking about. Yep, I bought a gift and grip. So today is going to be the unboxing of my new tool. I'm so excited. Okay, stay tuned. Watch this. Okay guys, so a little disclaimer. I bought um, some new bats that are also boxed in this. So it's not just the Giffen Grip and that's why the box is pretty big. Um, I'll show you those bats that I bought because they're pretty cool. Um, but it is more than just the Giffen Grip in this. Just so you know. I'm just rechecking my order because I think I got too many bats and I don't know if that's because I accidentally misordered or if maybe they gave me too many when they were packing um so I'm just double checking okay I know you all came for the gift and grip and um, but like I said, I had other things in the package, so I'm just going to give you a size comparison of the bats that I ordered. So here. How about, about one more thing? Make sure you check out the description below. I'm going to put all of the prices and the links to where you can find all of these products. I bought one of these too. So. Okay, enough about that. So, this is the gift and grip. So cool. Made in the USA. Um, this is probably the box that you'll receive in the mail. Just this small little thing. So. Nice. You get a little packet with an envelope, and there is a letter.
Dear Giff and Grip owner, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for purchasing our product. Great care has been taken into the design and manufacture. Every attempt has been made to give you a perfect product, but the eye grows dull at times, the mind wanders, and mistakes get made. If anything is not right or got left out of this box, just let us know. We'll give you a replacement part out to you immediately. Thanks again. You're going to love it. And registration form, instructions, It's got like a tap on that, so let's These look like the basic sliders. I think. Or maybe this is the wide slider. I don't know. There's this one. I feel like, I mean, it's definitely the basic, and this is the wide. You can see how big it is. These are the bottom brackets. It's hard because I have a black shirt on. It's like shining on it. Can't really see, but <sighs> okay. This is a little intense. I mean, like the instructions. It has a ruler on top. <laughs> that kind of makes me nervous. Gently tight. Okay. So, I guess it's not that bad, but <sighs> let's give it a go. Step one. Measure the diameter with a potter's wheel. Step two. Remove the 
O-ring. Set this off to the side. Pick this up. Now, follow the directions. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So, just so you don't do this, don't waste your time. It literally means measure your wheel head. Literally set the bracket to this point. A little... time I'm like measuring like this and that's wrong that's wrong find your number set the pointer on the bottom bracket to this measurement step three attach the bottom bracket with the nuts and screws Double check that your bracket is still in the correct spot before you attach it. I hung the Giffen grip off of my wheel head a little bit and bent over and I attached the bracket from below. I found it to be the most helpful. Step four, get all three bottom brackets set so the pointer is on the same mark. Make sure that all three brackets are set to the same number. Step five, try it out. If it's too loose, move the bottom brackets in a notch. If it's too tight, move the bottom brackets out a notch. Step six, when it fits correctly, the bottom plate will snap easily onto the potter's wheel and it will have no movement from side to side. Okay, I think it, think it feels good. What's next? Step seven. Okay, now it's time to put this thing back together. Top plate. Bottom plate. We need that O-ring again. Back on. I put the armoring on, but there is play in between the two. So I have to take this off and take the O rings that were given. I will have to use these. That can go over there. Oh, yeah. oh that does nothing. Step eight, flip this thing over and insert the sliders. You wanna be mindful that this is made up of two plates. The bottom plate has a gate entrance here. Focus on that area, you'll be looking for it. You want to twist the bottom plate until you find that gate. There it is. Good, now we can insert the slider. I'm going to be trimming a bowl, so now's the time to really get familiar with how to twist the plates together to get those sliders a little closer to the middle so it will fit my bowl. 
Step nine, put a pot in the center to be trimmed. Turn the top plate until the basic sliders start to make contact. I'm just kind of looking. That one's still got a little gap. This one's good. Now this might have been a bad example because I have a spout. It's a pouring bowl and I'm putting it here so it's kind of out of the way. Step 10. Give the pot a little bit of a wiggle to help it find center. So there is a step 11 in the instructions and I want to talk about that for just a moment. Um, step 11 is gently tighten the top plate again for best results. So you want to be careful about doing that. I didn't mention it and I didn't put it in this tutorial because it can damage your piece if it's too tight. So you're going to have to practice on making sure that it's tight enough that you're not going to lose your piece and have it fly off your wheel head and hit the wall. Um, but you don't want to make it so tight that it starts to distort your bowl and you're going to kind of have to just kind of figure that out. You also want to be mindful that a give and grip makes a huge mess. All of these shavings are going everywhere. I have the instructions kind of stuck into my splash pan to kind of catch the shavings so that they go into the splash pan, but it didn't really work. So if you guys have any tips and tricks, what you're doing with your gif and grip to get those shavings to kind of catch them, um, that would be helpful. Make sure that you leave them in the comments below. Um, or if you have any questions or comments about this video, love to hear them. Thanks again, guys.